Hello everyone, this is Miss Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about another important part of research introduction, significance of the study. Many beginners in research are clueless as to what to include in this section. Since they have also heard about rationale of the study, it made them more confused. I hope that this vlog can make beginners in research understand what to include in the significance of the study or rationale of the study. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get updated with my vlogs as I make vlogs for research, psychology, and whatnot. I promise you that this channel can help you out in your studies. For beginners in research, one of the things that make them a little bit confused is significance of the study. Since many of them have also heard about rationale of the study, it makes them more confused. Let's talk about significance of the study first. As the name implies, it explains why your study is important and what benefits can be derived from your research. It includes the benefits that the following can receive from your research, society in general, the research research field to which your topic belongs to, specific groups such as but not limited to policymakers, practitioners, educators, students, etc., and of course, future researchers. If you're a beginner in research, you might be asking yourself now, where do you find or where do you write the section significance of the study? Well, the significance of the study is part of your research introduction as what I discussed last time in my previous vlog, how to write your research introduction. Whether you put your significance of the study in your first paragraph as you explain the thesis of your research or the last paragraph of your introduction is really up to you. There's no specific recommendation as to which part of your research introduction you need to include your significance of the study. Beginners in research may be confused about whether or not significance of the study and rationale of the study are different from one another. Well, let me tell you this. Many times they are used interchangeably, but in essence, they are a bit different. Significance of the study pertains to the potential contributions of a study to specific entities or groups, while rationale of the study refers to the purpose or justification for doing the research. Let's talk more about the differences between significance of the study and rationale of the study. When you say significance of the study, this one focuses more on new innovations or approaches in dealing with a phenomenon and how this benefit the society and the field of study in general. It also talks about the importance of the study or potential impact to specific beneficiaries such as the society, specific disciplines or fields of study, future researchers, etc. It also highlights contribution to new knowledge. However, when we talk about rationale of the study, it explains current phenomenon or issue that warrants a new research. For example, recently there is a rise in the prevalence of school bullying in the country. Thus, this research is conducted to help shed light on the possible causes of this phenomenon. How do you write your significance of the study? You can actually use the pattern general to specific contributions. You may begin with how your findings can benefit a general or large group like the society or the disciplines or field of study that are directly impacted by your research. Soon after, you can discuss about the impact of your findings to more specific groups such as, but not limited to, policymakers, school administrators, educators, parents, students, among others. And lastly, you can discuss about how your research can benefit future researchers and how your research can contribute to new knowledge in your field of research. 
You might be asking yourself this question by now. How do I write my significance of the study section when I have not yet implemented my research proposal? So how would I know the contributions of my research? Well, you can start with examining your research problems or statements of the problem. This may be your basis for writing this section of your research introduction. Let's say your research problem is, is there a significant difference between boys and girls school bullying experience? Obviously, what you're looking for here is whether gender has a significant contribution to the type of school bullying experience of students. So you start from there. Let's do a recap of what we have studied so far. Significance of the study is oftentimes used interchangeably with rationale of the study. However, in essence, they have their differences. The significance of the study should be included in a research introduction. You can use your statement of the problems or research problems as basis for writing this section, or you can go with general to specific potential contributions of your research. Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something from this vlog. If you have any questions with regard to the lesson in this vlog, you may write me an email using my Gmail address on my channel. See you again next time. Bye-bye.